Welcome to Storytime, boys and girls. Today we will be reading Mole and the Baby Bird. Mole found a baby bird. It had fallen out of its nest. Mole waited and waited, but no big bird came to help it. So Mole took the baby bird home. He made a nest for it. Look, he said to his mother. It's very, very hard to take care of a baby bird, she said. They usually die, said his dad. My bird won't die, said Mole. His friends helped him find food for the baby. His mother showed him how to feed it. Mole fed it whenever it chirped, and the bird didn't die. It grew. It's my pet bird, said Mole. It's not a pet bird, it's a wild bird, said his mother. The bird fluttered his wing. Your bird is trying to fly, said his mother. No, cried Mole, it mustn't fly. Mole found some wood and some nails. He borrowed his dad's toolbox. What are you making? asked his dad. I'm making a cage for my pet bird, said Mole. It's not a pet bird, it's a wild bird, said his dad. You should let it fly. No! cried Mole. He put his bird into its new cage. The bird was sad. Mole's mother was sad too, but Mole kept his bird because he loved it. Then Grandad came to visit. He looked at Mole's pet bird. Presently, Grandad said, Let's go for a walk, little Mole. Grandad took Mole to the top of a high hill. Mole looked down at the trees far below. He felt the wild wind trying to lift him. Wee! I'm flying, cried Mole. Nearly, said Grandad. When Mole got home, he looked at his bird. It was sitting very still in its cage in Mole's dark underground room. <sighs> Birds are meant to fly, said Mole. He opened the cage door, and he let his bird fly away because he loved it. Then he cried. The next day, Mole went into the forest. He saw his bird flying, soaring free, and Mole was glad. And that's the end of our story.